the shed has become a mess again, but these babies will fix it. It's for the shelves, so they can, so we can put shelves in the, <laughs> yeah, get more of the stuff up. Back to digging. Working on a project like this leaves many hours for thinking. Julian is thinking about how to solve the different problems and what should be the next step of the renovation. Me, on the other hand, I have a very visual mind and I tend to think about random things while I'm doing something. With all the hours of tearing down roof tiles and walls, I was thinking of different childhood memories, places I've been, and countries I would like to visit someday. The roof somehow inspired me to think of Asia. Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> These days went by with many hours of staring into cold, dark soil all day long. So I decided to listen to some audiobooks. I really like books about self-development, health and business. But sometimes I enjoy a nice, feel-good novel. This day I was listening to One Summer in Paris by Sarah Morgan. I had just finished her other novel called Family for Beginners, about a florist who falls in love with a single dad of two girls and how she struggles to fit into their family. It has some beautiful and insightful moments and shows how we each have our own stories and measurements of what is the right thing to do in vulnerable situations. Wandering off to Paris while digging all of this dirt was just the right thing for me this day. Working together like this requires that we take care of each other. Julian is so patient with me. I have no experience in building houses and he teaches me every step of the way. Julian can just keep going, so I do my best to invite him to take breaks and make sure he gets some food and water. This is where the uh, stairs or the, what's it called? Ladder, stair ladder is going to be in the finished house. So now we're making the hole for coming upstairs. And we just <laughs> got to talking about that it's kind of important to know if we can get mattresses <laughs> up through this hole. Yeah. <sighs> That's important. And I have changed my strategy for digging the dirt out to make it a bit easier in the long run. And then we'll just have to figure out a way how to put the ceiling up when we get to that. Because right now I can stand here and put ceiling up. And if I dig half a meter down, we won't be able to do that. But we will find a way. So it's always thinking three steps ahead. Wanna be free of this heart. Yeah. Wanna feel your arms around me. I need you more. Need you here more than I would like to admit. Let's forget about tomorrow. Yeah. We have just been testing where the ladder should go because Julian is uh, putting in cables for electricity, which we will be having solar panels for in the future. But for all of that process, we need to know now how it's going to look in the future. So we have been testing the ladder, which way it should be. Um, whoop. <laughs> so the only opportunity we see in this tiny house is for the ladder to be there by the fireplace, because that's the only uh, space that doesn't have a purpose. And on the other side, it's too small, but there it could just it can just fit. 
and then the bedroom is up upstairs so it should be in a way that it makes sense when you come up and you turn on the lights and you can go into the room but the problem is if we go up here We're planning on having a, f a small fireplace uh, or a wood stove here. So you shouldn't come up right into that. But we're planning on having a wall here. So sh you can't go up that way. And if we turn it this way, so when you come up into the room, then it will be a problem downstairs. <laughs> so what we came up with is that we're going to turn it this way. You can come up like this, and go into the room on the corner, and then turn the lights on somewhere around here, like here. Yeah, right? Julian has done a lot of research on solar panels, which ones we should buy and how it should all work. Do let us know if you're interested in that, because we could talk some more about that if you'd like. And please let us know if you have any ideas on what we should do with this hole. Should we build something around it or should it be like an open close kind of thing? Or yeah, how, co how could we make it really practical and look really cute? and fit this old house style. I used to stay up all night trying to find my place Chasing me on lights and looking for some kind of trace To lead me out of darkness Give me a little... What do you think, Running? About what? About the process today. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> and it's about the future. Uh, it's gonna be good. It's funny to uh, think about all the things we're going to do. Mm -hmm. Later on, mm -hmm. and how to imagine how to live here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Gonna be alright. I don't know what you do to me, but I feel like I am wake up in the sky. When you put your hands in mine, no, I'm gonna be alright. Cause when we touch, is when I really come alive. Tomorrow we will start building the floor, so uh, that will be exciting as well. <laughs> it gets really light in here when the evening sun is coming from this side. Mm. There are the windows, but the dirt really darkens the rooms. Yeah. Yeah. So it's gonna be good with some floors. Mm. Mm. <sighs> Thank you so much for watching another video about our little renovation project. One of my favorite parts is reading your comments, because it makes me feel like this project is bigger than us. So thank you so much for that, and we'll see you in the next video.